Saturday night. You know what goes on around here on Saturday night. Steak night. All right, guess what? This is gonna be a fast cook because we're gonna be reverse searing some filet mignon. Better known around the South as Philip Mignon. <laughs> Just thought I'd throw a funny in there. You know, when somebody sees a word they don't know how to pronounce, that's what comes out a lot of times. Anyway, we're gonna have some Philip Mignons tonight. They have pretty ones too. Uh, we're just gonna keep it simple. We're going on with some kosher salt, ground black pepper, and a little bit of garlic. And take them out there, put them on the, the Weber kettle, and reverse sear. And it depends on how you like it, but most people with the filet mignon will like a medium red. You just do it like you want to. Pick up some of the leftover pepper. All right, that's all I got to do to get this meat ready. I'll see you outside. Don't you go nowhere. It's time to put the steaks on. First, I need to put the charcoal in the slow and sear. This is spent charcoal I had on some other cooks. It'll do just fine for this tonight. And I'll put on another chimney of that and uh, have it ready when we get ready to see it. Those are pretty. All right. I'll put the vents over the meat. All right, guys, it's just a waiting game now. I'm gonna set my Maverick to 115 degrees and put the alarm on, and when that goes off, I'll come back and we'll sear the steak. The steaks have been on about five minutes. I just wanted to show you my Maverick. I've got the vent set to about half, halfway. The top one's open. We're gonna go sit on the porch, have a cool drink, and wait, it probably won't take long. 24 minutes, I wasn't too far off. Been cooking at 342. The meat internal is at 120. Let's uh, get set up to do our sear. Okay, I got a little bit of spent charcoal. I better take that steak up first. So this ash won't fly all over the meat. not much but just enough to give it a punch the blower on it and that's a good idea because it will get it flaming hot but if you just punch it around a little bit poke it uh, poke it and open your vent back up open that vent up where you get full and I tell you what I just take my lid off and get it out of the way you won't have to contend with it and you can just blow on it a little bit. I got that from Jeremy over at Mad Sciences <laughs> Barbecue. He was blowing in the end of his offset one time. I said, dang, it really works, doesn't it? For the sake of the cause, I'm going to wipe this grill back off. Because this is going to be fast. This is not going to last, but three or four minutes, top. We're going to put it on the cold side, so to speak. And since these are fillets, this will work out just fine over this slow and sear. There's enough room to do all four of these fillet, this filig mignons. You guys ready? All right, here we go. Let the searing begin. Okay, it's time to uh, spin around. And now, change ends and flip them over. There we go. 
and I think I'll check them just for the heck of it. See where it is with the thermal pop. 123. 129, 129, 129. Some people would take them off right then and there after they get seared on that side. Uh, I'm going to flip them one more time. All right, let's spin it again. Yeah, this, this time here ought to do it. 128. That's a real pretty color. I put this lid back on and shut the, the vents down. Okay guys, we're done. I didn't take but about 24 minutes plus five minutes on the sear. So about 29 minutes to do these steaks and we're done. All right, I'll see you inside for a little taste. New taste tester. Look who we got. Yeah, I'll be glad to taste test this. Oh, let's go down and see what she's working okay, with. Okay, I think I'm gonna get this one and we're gonna put it over here on the wood platter and I'm just gonna Cut into it. Oh, it cuts so good. Like butter. Yes. And I'm going to do a taste test. Okay, here we go. Oh. Uh, mm, Will it work? It's so good. It's so tender. It melts in your mouth. It oh, that's really what we wanted. Great. You pay this top is the first time we've something. actually cooked filets. We usually just yeah. do ribeyes. Right. This is great. We're going to enjoy this so much. Can't wait to dig in and eat the whole thing. Okay, do me a favor. Would you like a taste test? No, favorite? I want you to cut this one in half mm -hmm. and just let us see the, the, beauty, of the beauty of the end. Okay, there you go. Oh, yeah. How's that look? That's just what we want. Mm, the camera perfect. sometimes does not pick up, but it is medium rare, folks. It's beautiful. It's beautiful cut of meat. It tastes great. Wish you could be here. Sorry, <laughs> we're going to eat it. All right, what you supposed to say? And this is Janet and Florence. Till next time. Bye. And feeling Florence. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I'm not used to saying it like that. <laughs> oh my gosh, we'll oh my gosh. Time. That filet was... We, we decided, we've said it several times, this is the best steak we've ever had here at this house. But, man, that, that's up there on the top level, top chef. How yes, 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 How yes, yes. Oh, it was so <laughs> was good. So, it was great. It was so juicy and flavorful. And tender. And tender. I mean, I think you could take your finger and push it right through the steak, but uh, <laughs> it was so tender. But I just had to come back and say how much we enjoyed that steak. It was wonderful. So, so many times.